Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. Viviano, Lincoln's mom, and I asked your teacher if I could be a mystery reader for March's reading month. I hope you guys have been reading a lot of books, and you guys might know who would win books. Lincoln has oh, a whole lot of these, and he picked out one for me to read. Uh, this is one of his favorites, Green Ants versus Army Ants. So there's a lot of these different kinds of books. Um, they're written by Jerry Pallada and illustrated by Rob Bolster. What would happen if green ants had a war against army ants? Who do you think would win? Meet a green ant. Ants are insects that live, that have a three section body, a head, thorax, and abdomen. The legs of an ant come out of its thorax. Insects have six legs. Ants have a thin waist. Um, wide awake fact, ants never sleep. Did you know that green ants are also called weaver ants or green tree ants? And green ants live in Australia. Australia. Meet an army ant. In Africa, army ants are also called marabunta. Most ants and other insects have compound eyes. Army ants have two eyes and are mostly blind. A compound eye has hundreds of tiny individual eyes in one. Most army ants live in South America and Africa. That's a, um, a compound eye up close. And that is where the army ants live. Most green ants live in colonies of about half a million ants. An ant colony is a group of ants living and working together. Math fact, a half a million equals 500,000 ants. Fact, a colony could be as few as 20 ants or up to many thousands of ants. Look at that picture. See those little teeny tiny little ants? Army ants live in a legion of between a half a million and a million individual ants. A legion means an army or a large number. Population fact, scientists once discovered a legion of about 20 million army ants. A million looks like this. Hold on, my six zeros after it. It's not really focusing. It means a thousand thousands. Army ants got their name because they act like a well-trained army. Ants have been on Earth for more than 100 million years. Ants were around when dinosaurs walked on Earth, and some ants may have had fights with dinosaurs. Green ants live in trees. Why live on the ground when you can live more safely in a tree? Green ants weave homes made of leaves. One of the largest green ant colonies ever seen was spread over 12 trees. Green ants usually stay in one place. Green ants use the fluid from their larva as glue. And larva is a young insect, so there's some ant larva there. You can see a close-up of the green ants live up in the trees. Army ants live on the ground. They do not build permanent places to live. Army ants are often on the move. About every two weeks, <clears throat> they move to another location. When ants move, they march in a fan-shaped swarm. Army ants are nomads, and that means they live in more than one place. That's the shape of their swarm, and then you can see how they can start here, and they're constantly moving, moving around different ants. There are more than 10,000 different types of ants. We could have matched up many other kinds in this book. 
Ants do not have ears. They hear through their feet, which pick up vibrations. Breathing fact. Ants do not have lungs. They get oxygen from holes in their bodies called spiracles. There's an ant spiracle up close. All those different kinds of ants. More ants. Ants are tiny, but they come in all shapes and sizes. The largest ant in the world is a bullet ant. It is one inch long and stings. Ouch. An ant has two stomachs. One for its own food and the other for food to share. You can see a diagram there. Society. Every ant in the green ant colony has a job to do. Their slogan might be, do your job. Every green ant is like an engineer, ready to build a nest or help its colony. Worker ants build and fix the nest. Then they have scout and drone ants. Scout ants go looking for food and drones are the only male ants in the colony. There is only one queen in most ant colonies and the queen lays all the eggs. The colony must protect the queen. If the queen dies, the colony will eventually disappear. And then soldier ants protect the nest and they fight enemy ants. A nursery fact, other worker ants work in the nursery, taking care of the larva. Family structure. A common human family has a mom, dad, and a few kids. The average army ant family has one mom, the queen, 20 dads, winged drones, 20 potential new moms, winged princesses, and 500,000 to 1 million kids, the worker ants and the soldier ants. An ant colony has no president, prime minister, or king, but there is a queen. An ant colony thinks together as one unit. Mandibles, an ant's major weapon is its mandibles. Mandibles are part of the animal jaw. These are the mandibles of a green ant. The mandibles have moving parts that can bite, pick up, and hold food. Pretty scary close up. The pincers of an ant are called its jaws. This is the jaw of a soldier army ant. Many insects live only two weeks. That's a fact. An age fact, ants are among the longest living of all insects. Did you know some queen ants have lived up to 30 years? And if you were an ant, which jaw would you rather have? It's pretty scary. That's the green ant and the army ant. I think the green ant's scarier. There are several types of ant jaws. Wide, skinny, serrated, rounded, jagged, straight. You can often tell how a bug eats or behaves by its mouth parts. A bee is a licker. It would enjoy an ice cream cone, just like you might. A fly is a sponger. When it lands, it sponges back and forth looking for food. A grasshopper is a chewer. Its mouth is shaped to chew grass and leaves. A scorpion is a pincher. It has no teeth, but its mouth has pinchers inside. A mosquito is a bloodsucker. It stabs with its needle-shaped face. A butterfly is a sipper. It uses its curly tube-shaped proboscis like a straw. Is a Darwin beetle a clipper? No, it uses its long jaws to flip and throw other insects. Lots of different insect mouths. Strong. Ants can lift things that are much heavier than they are. They can raise between 20 and 50 times their own weights. If you were an ant, you could lift a car or a pickup truck or maybe an elephant. Weightlifters. Here is a leaf cutter ant raising a huge chunk of a leaf. 
This is a dinosaur, there's a green ant. This is a dinosaur ant picking up a stone. And here is a bulldog ant lifting its precious larva. Young ant. The greatest weapon. The green ant's greatest weapon is their numbers. The ants warn one another of danger by releasing a chemical called pheromone. Thousands of ants are called to battle to protect their colony. Ants bite their enemies to death. Another important weapon is how well organized green ants are. They work together to build an ant bridge across a gap. Look at that, look at the gap, pretty cool. The army ant's greatest weapon is also their huge numbers. Any animal can fight against one ant, but can you fight a million ants? There's a word game I'm skipping. <laughs> it's a fun book. Check it out in the library if you get a chance. At the trunk of a tree, a few army ants attack some wandering green, ant, green ants. The green ants spray folic acid into the air. Just a few. The folic acid alerts other green ants nearby to join the fight. They drop what they're doing and head to battle. The spray irritates the army ants' eyes and makes it hard for them to breathe. Looks like advantage green ants. Uh-oh, it's a full battle. Thousands of green ants are fighting thousands of army ants. The green ants try to trick the army ants. The green ants are clever. They divert the fight away from their queen. If she is saved, the colony can live on. The army ants have, got, have greater numbers and start winning the battle. See all the ants coming down the tree? Uh oh, army ants have more of them. The army ants advance in an overwhelming force. Ants, ants, and more army ants. The green ants retreat. They realize they can't win the massive battle that they began. The war is no fun. Retreat means to run away. The army ants win. There are many dead green ants to eat. The army ants have a feast. The surviving green ants return to their queen. Tomorrow, they will rebuild their colony. If you were the author, how would you re rewrite the ending? Have a little advantage checklist. All right, I hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. Have a great rest of the day.